All right, everybody. This is the review of the Pile uh, PLA TV 660 Tornado. That's a 2,000 watt system. This is how I've got it rigged up on the Grizzly. Uh, I typically run uh, some sort of strap across here because they don't want to stand up good with their factory things. Uh, so you have to you have to do something to keep them down. Initially, I had them both pointed up, and I figured out first ride that they do better like this. It gives you, a, of course, it gives you a better better ride in the cockpit as well. It's really beefy. Now, let me just rotate these up, and I'll show you the wiring. Here's the, uh, this is the speaker wires with them uh, folded down. All right, there's the uh, excessive wire that was mentioned. Um, we've got uh, that side there. There's all of the connectors and I tucked the amp up into there. In just a second, I'll show you where I put it. Be right back. All right, back. Uh, all right, there is the amp right there. As you can see, I tucked it around all of the uh, shifter mechanism. Uh, it does come with an auxiliary cord, which I think is ridiculous, so I taped it up. And I have it stuffed down here on this side. Big strong zip tie to hold it to the uh, to that hook that's on the uh, shaft there. I can't remember what that was originally for, but whatever it was is gone now. Uh, you can see it is trying to move it now. It's real sturdy. And the shifter uh, doesn't have any trouble. It's not in the shifter's way at all. This is the highest point. Uh, as far as grizzlies, there's no room inside of here for... Uh, for any kind of amps or anything so that was the best place I found and I can still get my air filter out no problem all right so I'll uh, turn it on now so you can hear it sorry about the music choice I didn't have any suggestions <laughs> Georgia boys, <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy, rolling like a redneck, Chevy jacked up with the straight pipe smoke stack. Fresh paint job, Jet. fresh inside, Jet. is it in two wheel or four wheel drive? Are the tires big? big. Do it ride rough. rough, lean back in the seat like you're real tough. Clean on the inside, mud on the outside. Clean on the inside, mud on the outside. Clean on the inside, mud on the outside. I can't, I, I can't see my paint job. Can't see my paint job. We got a header on the dash. You can hang on with, so you don't hit your face hard. Yeah, I'm living like the. Uh, I will tell you that the foam uh, that comes with the mount is not any good, and I still have yet to figure out a better rigging. Uh, but that's the way I did it. Um, I, I took, I cut a koozie up and stuck it in there originally, but it didn't hold up. Uh, but it's. It's been fine. I just haven't. I'm just lazy and haven't uh, haven't got it mounted better. Um, typically, you'd want it to ride about like that, I suppose, while you're there. Um, I'm gonna turn it up now so you can hear it distort because uh, it will distort as it gets real loud if it's a heavy bass song. Um, and that's that's typically just because you're, you know, my phone doesn't have. I don't have the EQ used or anything, so it it will distort. So here we go. Like that. 
like that. And I'm riding like that. Like that, like that. Boy, I'm riding like that. Truck stays jacked up even if I get fat. Just like my boy said, we ready. Don't matter if you're in a Ford or a Chevy. 2500 or F250. Sipping on a cold brew. Grandma's sweet tea. Put my truck. truck CB humming. Humming. Tires so loud you can hear me coming. Coming. Big neck click. Click. We got. I, I can't see my paint job. Clean on the inside. And there's the original unit that I said I've built myself. It's got a 600 watt amp in it um, with Polk speakers. It was a great unit, but the biggest issue with this unit was that um, I had to push the radiator rel relocate forward so that I could uh, uh, fit it in there um, on, in front of it. Um, but it, it was very rattly. It always really rattly, made all kinds of noise, and then... Uh, um, my guys at the shop mounted this thing when they we put it all back together but it was broke down for a year and a half we put it all back together and they just took it upon themselves to mount it back where it was first time i wrote it and it was quiet i said okay i'm gonna figure out something else with the speakers and you know sometimes we uh we can afford it so uh we just get it over with uh but i, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that the sound quality um uh, as a as a hand built as opposed to store-bought um, I'm absolutely happy the ones that I got are actually louder and um, and it was well worth it uh, considering the, the cost off of Amazon so uh, that's my review thanks guys